It's been amazing to, to see his career. I mean, he's, he's done great things for, for U.S. tennis. Marty Fish is the new captain of Team USA. He would do anything you wanted him to do on a Davis Cup team, and that's, uh, you know, that's the kind of teammate you want. One of the, the first guys I ever practiced with at, as a uh, ATP professional. So, um, and he's always been a close friend of mine. Life's journey is often filled with triumphs and tribulations, victories and defeats. As the legendary Vince Lombardi once said, it's not whether you get knocked down, it's whether you get up. Today, we delve into the poignant tale of a remarkable tennis player whose journey encapsulates the battle of mental health. This is the tragic story of Marty Fish, a man whose path to success was marked by extraordinary highs and heartbreaking lows, revealing the untold challenges faced by athletes beyond the courts and into the arena of life. As we embark on the tragic journey of Marty Fish, it's essential to understand the heights from which this American tennis virtuoso descended. Born on December 9, 1981, Marty Simpson Fish emerged as a hardcore specialist, joining the ranks of a formidable generation of American tennis players in the early 2000s. Fish's prowess on the court manifested in the form of six victories on the main ATP Tour and noteworthy final appearances in four Masters Series events, including Cincinnati in 2003 and 2010, Indian Wells in 2008, and Montreal in 2011. His Grand Slam journey saw him reach the quarterfinals of the 2007 Australian Open, the 2008 US Open, and the 2011 Wimbledon Championships. However, amid the triumphs, a poignant chapter unfolded at the 2004 Summer Olympic Games, where Fish reached the men's singles final but ultimately succumbed to the resilient Nicholas Massou. April 2011 marked a pivotal moment for Fish, as he surpassed compatriot Andy Roddick, seizing the title of American No. 1 in the ATP rankings. Climbing to a career-high singles ranking of world No. 7 in August 2011, Fish etched his name into the chronicles of tennis history. His journey reached its pinnacle after he qualified for the year-end tournament, a singular achievement in his illustrious career. I know, I realize this is my last event. Um... However, like any compelling narrative, the tale of Marty Fish took an unexpected turn, retiring after the 2015 U.S. Open, he bid farewell to the sport that had defined him. I've never been around anyone who has any serious mental health issues. Mental health doesn't care what your name is or what you do for a living. Everyone is in their own bubble with stresses, pressures, and expectations on themselves, no matter what job title they have. Mine just happened to involve playing in front of a lot of people, but my issues would be no different from any other person's, Fish said. Tons of sacrifices, basically a, a complete lifestyle change. Fish's ascent to greatness was marked by a stark realization. He hadn't worked as diligently as some of his peers. In 2010, fueled by a newfound commitment to change, he overhauled his diet, routine, and training regimen. The hard work paid off, catapulting him to new heights. By 2011, he had qualified for the prestigious ATP World Tour Finals, and in 2012, he reached a career-high ranking of 7th in the world. Stadio Pietrangeli, 11th seed Marty Fish met Colombian Santiago Giraldo. Yet, just before the 2012 US Open, where Fish's career was poised to reach its zenith, adversity struck. A heart condition, cardiac arrhythmia requiring surgery, surfaced in March of that year, a condition that sent shockwaves through his professional career. Despite this setback and the health condition, Fish continued to compete until the U.S. Open in September. It was during a third-round match against Giles Simon that a more insidious opponent emerged, a severe anxiety disorder that gripped Fish with an unrelenting force. The once unshakable athlete found himself ensnared by a condition that transcended the boundaries of the tennis court, rendering him unable to leave his own home at times. I would highly advise them to get educated on mental health. The ensuing years saw Fish grappling with the intersection of physical and mental challenges. His heart condition and anxiety disorder forced him to confront vulnerabilities that extended far beyond the tennis court. Reflecting on the evolution of his expectations, both externally and internally, Fish recognizes that his dissatisfaction with the status quo became a double-edged sword. The pursuit of greatness, once a driving force, transformed into a stress-inducing and ultimately destructive journey when his ranking was reduced to 7th the world. I was diagnosed with severe anxiety disorder actually at this tournament. A pivotal moment in Fish's struggle emerged with heart arrhythmias, a physical condition that set the stage for a haunting mental trauma. The anxiety attacks, initially off court, began to infiltrate every aspect of his life. Sleep became elusive, and the solitude he once cherished turned into a need for constant company. The attacks intensified, rendering him consumed by exhausting and confusing dread. About mental health, about, you know, sort of why I was away from the game for a couple years. Ironically, his on-court performance remained 
remained intact, masking the internal turmoil that was unfolding. It was only a matter of time before the anxiety manifested during a crucial match at the 2012 US Open, shattering the illusion of control Fish had maintained. If you're enjoying this video, kindly click on the like button and subscribe for more tennis-related content. I had a case of severe anxiety disorder. The episode of the acclaimed Netflix docuseries Untold delves into the untold story of Marty Fish's battle with mental health and anxiety, appropriately titled Breaking Point. Fish, a former American tennis star, had initially shared his struggles in a poignant first-person narrative for the Players' Tribune in 2015. The episode, created by the Way Brothers and focusing on the nationwide pursuit of American tennis talent, vividly explores Fish's crisis and the challenges he faced during the peak of his career. The narrative provides a close look at Fish's early days, portraying him as a childhood friend and rival to Andy Roddick. Despite Fish's silver medal at the 2004 Athens Olympics, his career remained in the shadow of Roddick, the de facto standard bearer for American tennis. However, in the early 2010s, Fish underwent a transformation in his training and nutrition, aiming for a push towards the top echelon of tennis. And I'll feel like that going into uh, every one of my matches. As Fish ascended in the rankings and qualified for the ATP Finals in London, his expectations changed, and the pressure mounted. The mental toll culminated in anxiety attacks, affecting both his personal and professional life. The episode highlights key moments, such as Fish's cardiac ablation for palpitations and his decision not to play against Roger Federer at the 2012 US Open. Marty, there's a lot of pressure. I think I'm dying. Fish's openness about mental health becomes a central theme, emphasizing that mental health issues transcend profession and stature. The documentary showcases Fish's journey from the heights of his career to the lows of anxiety, retirement, and eventual advocacy for mental health awareness. In his role as the U.S. Davis Cup captain, Fish mentors the next generation of American male players, demonstrating resilience and strength in vulnerability. Breaking Point features insights from Fish's family, Andy Roddick, and archival footage spanning his entire career, providing a comprehensive and intimate portrait. The the episode not only offers closure for Fish, but contributes to ongoing conversation around mental health in sports, echoing the sentiments of other high-profile athletes who have spoken openly about their struggles. Available for streaming on Netflix, Breaking Point adds to the growing body of narratives, shedding light on the human side of athletes and the importance of mental health awareness. I'm having anxiety attacks every 15 minutes of the day. Through the depths of soul-searching, therapy, and unwavering support, Fish emerged not as a victim of circumstance, but as a resilient individual content with the life he had built in Los Angeles alongside his wife and young son. Fish's outlook on his tumultuous career reflects a profound sense of gratitude. Despite the why me moments that may have once lingered, he now sees a purpose in his experiences. His openness about mental health struggles serves as a beacon, shedding light on an often taboo topic in professional sports. Acknowledging the chemical imbalance that triggered his severe anxiety disorder, Fish emphasizes the importance of therapy and medication in his ongoing journey toward mental well-being. While he envisions eventually weaning off medication, he recognizes its current necessity and the stark contrast it presents to the alternative. I started golf when I was four years old. I started tennis when I was two years old. Marty Fish has transitioned into retirement with a notable talent for golf. Despite never having taken a golf lesson, Fish possesses a smooth and powerful golf swing, drawing admiration from legendary golfer Jack Nicholas, who dubbed him the best non-professional golfer I've ever seen play. Fish's golf journey began in a less structured setting during his childhood in Adena, Minnesota, where he developed a left-handed golf swing alongside his early tennis training. Fish trying to close it up. Fish initially played junior golf before focusing on tennis, a decision that proved successful as he reached the pinnacle of the tennis world, reaching number seven in the ATP rankings. However, after the challenges faced due to cardiac arrhythmia and a severe anxiety disorder, leading to a late career renaissance and subsequent retirement. In retirement, Fish has embraced golf as a positive outlet, participating in celebrity golf events and enjoying recreational play with his family. He describes golf as a positive stress in his life, offering a contrast to the physical demands of professional tennis. Despite playing minimally, Fish has made a significant impact on the celebrity golf scene, winning multiple events, including the American Century Championship in 2020. Marty Fish is the new captain of Team USA. Fish, who serves as the captain for the U.S. Davis Cup team, shares a dream with many golfers, playing on the senior tour. While acknowledging the need for years of training to reach that level, he remains determined and recognizes the effort required to achieve such a goal. It takes us toll mentally, and he was able to stay pretty strong, just top 10 towards the end of his career. At 40 years old, Marty Fish continues to showcase his athletic prowess. 
this time on the golf course, adding another dimension to his post-tennis career. Looking ahead, Fish aims to use his experiences to help others facing similar challenges. With plans to work with U.S. juniors and a desire to be a vocal advocate for mental health awareness, he's forging a path beyond the confines of the tennis court. As he hangs up his rackets, Fish leaves behind a legacy of achievements, each marked by the resilience and introspection that defined his remarkable journey. From the heights of Olympic success to the depths of mental health battles, Marty Fish's story transcends the boundaries of sports, becoming a narrative of triumph over adversity and a beacon of hope for those navigating their own struggles. As we conclude this poignant journey through the life of Marty Fish, we are reminded that behind the dazzling victories and crushing defeats lies a human story of perseverance. From the pinnacle of success to the depths of personal struggle, Marty's tale resonates with us all. If you found this exploration into the triumphs and tribulations of a remarkable athlete compelling, don't forget to hit the like button to show your support. Now it's time to hear from you. In the comments below, share your thoughts on Marty Fish's journey. Was it an inspirational tale of overcoming adversity or a reminder of the challenges athletes face beyond the spotlight? Remember, your voice adds depth to our community, so let us know. And don't forget to subscribe for more captivating stories from the world of tennis.